Parents, chime in here for me. Why is it every time a new fucking school year starts, kids get sick in public schools? I fucking hate it. They go back, what, a few weeks ago, this and that. And my son has been off a couple times here and there. And then, uh, you know, last week, that was it. And they're like, oh, yeah, there's like so many fucking kids sick, blah, blah, blah. And now fucking dad's got it. I feel like a can of smashed assholes. This is terrible. It's been like, what, five, six days since I uploaded another fucking video? Or since I uploaded my last video? But anyways, here we are. I got up this morning. Felt like death. Trying to get my daughter off to school. I jumped on YouTube. I wasn't going anywhere. I'm not going to the gym. I'm not doing any of that shit. Because of how I feel. But I jumped on my phone. And uh, I'm ripping through YouTube. I had no idea this video was out. No idea. I didn't see shit about it. Didn't say nothing. So then, I clicked on it. And I was like, well, I know what I'm doing. I gotta pull up my big boy pants. Go downstairs. And get a reaction. 3.2. Almost 3.3 million view, uh, views in what? Uh... The 20th. What's the date now? Three days. Well, basically two, because it's first thing in the morning. Isn't that ridiculous? So, <clears throat> that being said, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to keep babbling on. We're just going to get into this one. And, uh, this is crazy. So this is called We Ain't Cowboys, Tom McDonald featuring, or not featuring, but Tom McDonald and his wife, Nova Rockefeller. I'm assuming GFBF stands for girlfriend, boyfriend. I don't know. But anyways, let's get into this one. Mama, we ain't cowboys, we just brought the wild, wild west back. Wait, One day what? My Hold up. No way. You know that guy? The what? No way. You ready? Mama, we this ain't cowboys, a... we just brought... Is that the Millennium Falcon? Or no, that's not it, right? No, 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 that's not it. Brought the wild, wild west back. One day my grandbabies will ask me how the West was won Sweat and sweat, bleeding blood and Stetsons with our pistols drawn Smith and Wesson, trigger fingers pressing, sending men to heaven Poured all out of whiskey, now it's steady hands to hold the weapon. Two desperados, everywhere we go, hey, enemies Dex. follow Our faces hung on posters, coast to coast to Colorado Yeehaw, swinging if there's beef until they've teeth gone Right into the night singing our theme song Just a couple kids screwed up, couple rebels to the core Middle fingers in the air and the pedal to the floor I saw on social media, um, like lately, the last few days, like a few pictures of these two back and forth, even like older photos of them and stuff like that. I just thought it was like an anniversary or something, or they were celebrating something like an anniversary or whatever, something to do with them. It's clear now that it's from this song. They released this tune. No idea. Couple bridges we burn. The more you know, I think we'll ever learn. Every scar that we got was a trophy we earned. Singing, ooh, 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 hold my finger. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mama, we ain't cowboys, we just like the hats. But men in black are here. We ain't riding horses, we ain't living on a ranch. Cause mama, we ain't cowboys, we just brought the wild, wild west back. They'll paint us as heroes. Stories to the kin who know of us as legends, not what we did to win. They can hate it, but we made it hotter than jalapenos. Wanted us dead or alive, it's ride or die with my amigo. Renegados out here tossing lassos out of Lambo. The power of a thousand horses underneath Durango. Yeehaw, swinging if there's beef until they teeth gone. Right into the night singing our theme song. Just a couple kids screwed up, couple rebels to the core. Middle fingers in the air and the pedal to the floor singing. Shut up. Just a couple bridges we burned. I don't um, <clears throat> if that's not a thumbnail, I don't know what is. Uh, this is amazing, by the way. Look at the smirk on her face. Hell yes. I think we'll ever learn. Every scar that we got was a trophy we earned. Singing. Just fucking going to town with that thing. We just like the hats. We ain't riding horses, we ain't living on our ranch. Cause mama, we ain't cowboys, we just brought the wild, wild west back. You can wear the boots. What is with this fork? So, what am I missing here? <clears throat> I'm missing something. This fork is obviously something in this video. 
I just don't get it. Mama, we ain't cowboys, we just like the hats But meet us on a country road and boy, we'll beat your ass We ain't riding horses, we ain't living on a ranch Cause mama, we ain't cowboys, we just brought the wild, wild west Mama, we ain't cowboys, we just like the hats But meet us on a country road Man, I remember having a white pair of pants, and I think this, like, this is going back a long fucking time ago. Uh, this is going back 25 years ago, so I was like, what, 15 years old, 16, 17 years old, something like that. I remember having a pair of white jeans, and they were exhaust. Do you remember that? Do you remember that label of pants? And Man, I could never keep them fucking clean, no matter what I did. And even now, I can't even wear white shoes for fuck's sakes tattooing, because every time I buy a pair of white shoes, I love white shoes, by the way, Every fucking time I get ink on them every time. So I'm literally stuck wearing black. So if you're wondering why every, well, you're probably not wondering this, but now that I'm saying it, if you ever like start picking up on why every tattoo artist wears black, this is why we get fucking ink on everything. We can't have nice things. Oh, it's over. I didn't need to pause it there. Okay, so well, where's that thumbnail? Where it at? Come on, it's here somewhere. Fucking hell. There it is. Boom. Okay, so first thing I'm going to say <clears throat> is these things are hurting my ears today, so I'm taking those out. Number two, these two are like meant for each other, right? Like they're definitely a cute couple. You, you see this kind of shit all the time with, with certain celebrities and stuff like that. And you're like, yeah, you know, they're cute together, blah, blah, blah. These two belong to each other. Look at them. Anyways, look how happy she is. I don't know if that's because she's holding a lightsaber. Or it's because she's uh, having fun with the lightsaber with Tom. Who knows? Anyways, so, uh, you know, every video you see of Tom McDonald, it's always her name at the end. I guess she does all the videos and stuff like that, which is great. And I think them doing a song together is great i don't know if this is going to be a whole album or anything like that like i said i did not know about um the video or the song at all until this morning now in my opinion um yes i like these kind of songs from tom that where they you know i've said this a billion times you know where it's not crazy political this and that and where he's not ripping everybody a new asshole so i enjoy and it's refreshing hearing some kind of other song or whatever the case coming from tom and nova and or nova whatever um but in my opinion i don't think it's what i liked it but i don't think this is one of his strongest songs at all uh and that's my opinion uh but again 3.2 and climbing million views in fucking what two days we're going on two and a half three days that's pretty impressive and uh people like to see this kind of shit it's awesome so now i'm also Paying, I try and pay attention to all the comments and stuff like that and people on the internet and in the comment section and stuff, they seem to know a lot about Tom McDonald and Nova's personal life or basically anything that goes on with these guys. So that's the case, whatever. But how the fuck do you guys know everything about these guys? Because I don't know shit. And does she write his lyrics? Like I understand in certain, certain genres of music or even all genres of music, Sometimes people have ghostwriters and people that write their lyrics or whatever, and then they just do their thing. But how true is this? I don't know, right? Like, look at that, um, the Trump one, when uh, Trump almost got popped there, and it was like, what, a couple hours later, the video was dropped. So are you telling me that that happened? It got back to them, obviously. Um, and then she just wrote it and said, here you go, with no nothing, and he just kind of spit it out? Or do you think that that was something that stewed and boiled in his head and he just fucking put it on paper and got it out i mean I'm, I'm sure that like since they're very close they like with musically and stuff like that like they work with each other and all this other stuff i'm pretty sure at least she would have something to do with some of it other than you know making the videos right like i'm sure that she's got something to say or or you know they're working together with the lyrics but i i personally don't think that you know tom at the caliber that he's at and how fast he can spit sometimes and shit like that. I don't think that like 100% of this shit is written by her or somebody else and then he just takes it and and goes with it. I don't think so, but I could be wrong. I don't know. 
So as far as the video goes, I thought the video was very fun. It was great. Um, you know, the whole lightsaber thing, that was the cherry on top for me. And I'm going to screenshot. Oh, I think I already screenshot it at some point anyway. But, you know, I think this is, uh, this is great. The video was fun. The song was great. Don't get me wrong. I just think he's got better ones. And that's my opinion. I'm allowed to think that way, right? So if these two are going to do a whole album together, that would be awesome. I'm definitely uh, looking forward to it for sure. And uh, it was a nice surprise waking up this morning and seeing his video and stuff like that. But again, I'm sorry. My voice kind of hurts. I probably sound like a bag of shit because uh, I feel like a bag of shit. So I apologize for that. And, um, you know, I've been doing the dad mode thing here for the last few days. So I've been kind of slacking off as usual. You're used to hearing that from me. Uh, it is what it is. So hopefully I can find the energy in my in myself. You know, maybe even later today I can jump on and uh, get another reaction and we're going to see. But until now, I'm going to go beat my head off the fucking wall and uh, see if that helps and we'll go from there so until next time hopefully later on today we will see you then so don't forget to like subscribe share all that other fun stuff and drop a comment in the comment section and let me know what's up all right see you on the next one